How you doing guys? Big Mac Dance Clear again today, back once again with another episode of Nacho Sigma Saturday. And in today's episode I just want to show you where I'm up to with my um War Gamer Online Chronicles, WGO Chronicles, these ones I'm calling more or less finished now. Uh, this squad of five intercessors. Uh, yeah, I'm calling these more or less finished. They're uh, basically a, a tabletop standard. I'd be this is this is like a a miracle to get a squad to this level for me. Um, I rarely get anything even close to finished. Um, so I'll go back in. Um, what I'm probably going to do is order some um, Imperial Fist symbols off Shapeways, and I get them for the uh, left shoulder pads. I think yeah, they go on the left, don't they? Because they go on the right on the Death Watch, which is the opposite one. Um, uh, what I might do, actually, I've just uh, realised I've not put any washes on the bolt gun metal on there, uh, so I might go in with some uh, a null oil wash or aggro associate perhaps, uh, just to dirt that up a bit and uh, the purity seal as well. These are most of them are just at a base coat stage, um, but I, I quite like the look of them like this. Um, there's a chance when you see my photos, they may have been um, may have been weathered as well with a bit of a sponge chipping technique. Um, yeah, so uh, this one, this one is the closest squad I've got to completion. Um, what I'll do now, though, I'll show you a clip of what has slowed me down. It's uh, Saturday at the minute; they have to be finished by tomorrow. Um, so I filmed a quick video last night of um, a few problems I've been having. So I'll go to that now. So, guys, just um, two days from the end of the WGO Chronicles, when I need to get my miniatures painted by, um, I, ha I I I've run into problems again with my airbrush. Um, so I've base paint base coated um two of the intercessors. Uh this this one's pretty much done and then this one is uh you know, I think I'd rather go over it again. Uh it's not focusing the camera but never mind, it's just to show you briefly. See this one's got quite rich, almost orangey tones with it, whereas that one it just looks like um the the paint that's gone on it, the little bit that's gone on it is a bit too thin. Um so uh, I've also done some reavers from the, the easy to build reavers set. Um, I've done that. Um, but yeah, um, two days left to finish my WGO Chronicles project and my airbrush is blocked. So um, I've soaked it again and I'm hoping it frees it up long enough to get the six remaining miniatures. That's uh, the Hellblasters there, five of them. One intercessor and another going over on him. Um, that's what I'd like to be able to do. Um, I'm going to try and get them base coated in the morning and um, it's Friday evening at the minute um, I'll be watching the WGO stream tonight and I'll hopefully be doing some more um, colours on the other miniatures I already have painted um, so yeah I just thought I'd share that with you uh, the, I'll, I'll have to investigate the airbrush problem further when I've got a bit more time uh, when the time restraints aren't there so um, I'll just do another it seemed to, it seemed to clear it up last time um, but I think I think what it might be might be an issue with uh, there's a little hole there be below where the needle is uh, you can see it there um, and I think it might be something getting blocked in there um, but I'm not entirely sure um, so I need to locate really my my um, proper airbrush cleaning kit because um, I've got the cleaning solution and stuff like that I just I can't find the little um, like the pipe cleaner sort of things that come that come with it, uh, come with the package that I bought. Um, I've not been, I lost them ages ago and I've not been able to find them anywhere. Um, but yeah, once I find them, I'll, I'll give it a proper clean and um, I may invest in a sonic cleaner as well. They're not that expensive really. And if it does help out every so often to drop it in the sonic cleaner, then um, it'll be a good investment. But yeah, that's where I'm up to. A few woes here, um, but uh, I'm sure I'll still stay on track and get them Finished or close to finished. Thanks very much, guys. So as you saw in that video, guys, it was um, airbrush problems I was having. Um, I've, I've fixed it now, and I've managed to get the remainder of the miniatures base coated. Uh, I'm just going to show you some more uh, that are at a slightly different stage. So these ones are some of the characters. I have just realised as well, this is the uh, ancient, uh, the banner bearer, basically. Um, and he has no banner because it's still on the sprue to my left. What a uh, what a mistake to make. Um, so these guys, um, I've only done the blacks and started the browns. I've done a single layer of the brown on the uh, pouches and stuff. Um, yeah, so they're all you know, uh, they're, they're basically at a stage where I feel like I can 
Just with a couple of big sessions, I can get them done by tomorrow. Let's hope I can. Uh, if I don't, it's not the end of the world. At least I've got some stuff painted. But um, I'd like to have them displayed in a Wargame Online video or wherever they're gonna wherever they're gonna display them. Um, and another thing I've got to do, you may notice they're not on bases, so I've got to get some bases painted up for them as well. I do have some Sector Imperialis bases. Uh, here's a Gravis Captain. He again uh, he's just got his blacks on there's there's nowhere nowhere really for browns on this miniature i suppose i could have gone in with the where the bones are and paint a bit of brown in there uh, i may do that when i put the second second layers of brown on uh, those other characters and then i've got uh, i've got these guys uh, these are another two intercessor marines from the second squad and there's three more over here which I will show you now. Stay there. So these three as well. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, Hair-wise, I kind of... There's a few bareheaded marines in there. And uh, I'm not sure how many I want to paint with white hair. But I do want to paint some with white hair. Because it's kind of like an Imperial Fist thing, isn't it? It's one of the traits I think they get from Dawn. Um, so, yes. Uh, you can see there's plenty of work for me to still be getting on with. Everything else is base coated in the yellows. Um, the blockage in the airbrush, um, I meant to say that when I started recording this, but uh, the blockage in the airbrush, it was it was basically a blockage in the nozzle, dry paint in the nozzle, and it had built up, and um, that was causing as well a leak where the uh, where the end of the airbrush screws on. Um, so I've been out and I've bought some plumber's tape to stop that leak, and I've also uh, I've unblocked the nozzle. Um, I just uh, It looked like there was no paint in the nozzle, so that's why... I didn't realise it was a blockage in the nozzle, uh, but I got a paper clip in there, and it's actually there was a pretty decent amount of paint in that nozzle. Um, so yeah, there's still plenty more for me to do, as, as I said. Um, but I just wanted to record this quick video for you and get a not so Sigma Saturday video up for you. So uh, we'll leave it there, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you hopefully on the battlefield.